always been a very active person. I did lots of sports growing up and through high school. Uh, then once I got into college, obviously I let that, or not obviously, but I let that weigh in a little. I wasn't quite as active and definitely not uh, cognizant of my nutritional intake. Uh, I then, you know, I had kids and probably even went worse after that, but then I just, within probably the last 10 years, I had become, I'd say what I thought at that time was very active. I was going to the gym quite a bit, uh, but I was, I had no routine. I had, I just, I just was going through the motions when, when I would go. And I was definitely not worrying about my nutrition at all. And over the years then, I you know, did start putting on pounds and not feeling quite as well. And when my oldest son was heading into fifth grade, and he's a junior now, his, uh, his teacher challenged the entire class to do part of the flying pig, whether it was the 5K, whether it was a mile, uh, whatever the case might be. So he decided he wanted to do the 5K. And I thought, I can't have my 11-year-old run the streets of Cincinnati by himself. So, and he's in good shape, so he's going to leave me in the dust if I try to be with him. So I started running. And when I started running, I started by, I'd run a minute, then I'd walk four. Then I'd run a minute, and I just kept looking at my watch going went on the countdown of the running. I couldn't wait until that was over. But then over time, it got to where, okay, I can run five minutes. I can run eight. I can run 30 minutes without stopping, and it became kind of this obsession. In that, I started also, and I don't even really know where where the, the switch flipped, but I suddenly decided that I needed to figure out my nutrition as well. So I did start tracking everything I was eating, and it was very eye-opening what I was putting in my mouth and how much I was putting in my mouth. And at that, once I started being more cognizant of that and still eating and still eating what I wanted, but not quite to the excess that I was eating or drinking to the excess, and I made some small changes, and I started seeing weight go away, and I felt so much better. I then got to where I was really, I was almost becoming obsessive in my working out. I'd work out in the morning, and then I'd run in the evening, and so I had to did finally have to find a balance there. and. I waned a little bit, and then I came back. I kind of got burnt out what I was what I was doing, and then I came to adrenaline after my kids had been going here for several years. And uh, I thought, wow, that that seems like a lot of fun. I want to do that with them. And so that's where I started. And then once I came here and started in some challenges, then I was able. I was I was very calorie oriented when I was focusing on my nutrition, and. Then I became more nutrition oriented and really looking at the fuel and what I was putting in my body. And that is where I'm at right now, is coming here, loving it, and definitely being cognizant of what I'm putting in my mouth um, and working better towards my nutrition. For me, Prioritizing things are so important, and I am a busy person. I do stay at home. Um, I have been doing that since my oldest, who's almost 17, but I've had some little side jobs there, and for me, doing everything that I want to do, I, I have to keep up my health and fitness, and I have to sometimes, some people might say it's selfish, but do those things for me. For me, working out in the morning is the easiest way to do things. And my morning is, I say it's me time. It's very much about me. I get up at 5 a.m. I have my quiet time just with me. Then I get my kids up and get them off heading to school. Then I come and I head to the gym. And that is the way that I start my day. I don't necessarily have any big, it's just what I do as a routine. I don't have any big plan at night. Like, you know, oh, I have to put out my, my clothes or anything like that. I can just roll out and get up and go and do what I need to do. I know others have those plans, but um, that's not me. And for me, just generally being active in my life, I can't just sit still and not do anything. And I also think that as a mother and a wife, I need to also show that to my kids, 
they need to see me being active. why for me is it's having what is most important for me and that is I have a very strong faith and then my family and friends are extremely important. If I am not active then I am not able to help all of those or do everything that I want to do for them and if I'm not help you know if I'm not active if I'm not healthy I, I have an ailing father my mom has recently passed away if I didn't have my activity level, not just for feeling better physically, but also emotionally and mentally for me. Working out is a less expensive therapist for me, along with my quiet time and my faith. That is inexpensive therapy for me and helping me to be all that I can be for everybody else. And sometimes the important thing you know, is, is me, sometimes the important thing is my children, sometimes it's my dad, sometimes it's my husband, but it's me being able to give all that I need to be and doing that both in a, health, in a healthy, both mental and physical and emotional way. Final thoughts for me is I know there's so many mothers out there and a lot of times we get so wrapped up in our children or what's going on with our husband or everything else. But for me, sometimes you do have to put yourself first. If you do not put yourself first, then you are not going in the end to be able to help them. And it is, you have to be strong in order to help those around you be strong.